Welcome to Make Something with me, David Petrito, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this kick-ass pizza peel. Stick around to see how it's done. Today's video is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. We are here at Kencraft Hardwoods, and I am looking through some half-inch boards to make a pizza peel, and what I think I found is I'm going to do a centerpiece of mahogany and then have hickory on both sides. So let's head back to the shop and make this pizza peel. I'm going to cut two 16 inch pieces off of that and then glue them on both sides of this. And then from there, we will cut out our pizza paddle. So let's go over to the miter saw and cut this up. So now that we have our three pieces cut, we're just going to glue them up. So here we go. We're just gonna use these little spring clamps here to make sure that they stay nice and level and cooperate. I'm gonna throw another bar clamp along the top. So it's been about 15 minutes and this is a perfect time to come and scrape off all the glue as it'll pop right off. So this has had time to dry, so we're gonna remove the clamps and we have the beginnings of our pizza peel. I think we're just going to take a normal pizza pan here and just use that to trace out a circle and that will help us get started with the overall shape that we're going to do. Here's a good tip. Get a 50 pack of these pencils, sharpen both sides and leave the pencils all over the shop and you'll always have a sharp pencil no matter where you go. So we have the circle here and I'm going to just freehand draw some pleasing lines that I think will work. And so I'm going to first make this handle a little thinner, so I'll draw a couple lines here. We'll use this point of the two species of wood here, and then we'll come out to here, and we'll just draw a little line. Now this handle is a little wide, so I think we're going to bring this in a little bit and then come back out for the handle. So I'm gonna use a paint can here, draw some circles, see what this looks like to my eyeballs. All right, so now, now that we got our shape, we're just gonna cut it out on the bandsaw. So on the bandsaw, we cut as close as we could to the line without touching the line, and then we'll finalize the shape here in a disc sander. All right, so we have the pizza peel cut and sanded, and I have this quarter inch piece of mahogany that we're going to use to thicken up the handle and have it taper down into the side tier and then taper down into the main business area of the cutting board. So what I'm going to do is just trace the shape out. What I want to do is draw a pleasing little little curve right here. Cut that out on the bandsaw. So what we want to do now is create a little seamless bevel from the thickened handle onto the business area of the cutting board. All right, so now that we have that bevel sanded down, we're just going to glue the handle onto the handle. Cool, if you find this slipping around a little bit, barely tighten your clamps. And then once you get a couple on, you can slowly start to tighten it and it won't slip and move on you. I don't wanna be the woodworker that says, 
can never have enough clamps, but you can never have enough clamps. Let me know in the comments down below if you get tired of hearing that. All right, so we've removed the clamps and we're gonna go back over to the spindle sander and flush this up. We're going to create a beveled edge so I can get this to slide underneath the pizza. So I'm just going to draw kind of a guideline where I want this beveled edge to go. You can use a file if you want, but if you wanna remove a whole bunch of material real quick, a belt sander will do. So we got a round over bit in the router table and what we're going to do is put a nice little round over on the handle here. So now we're going to drill a hole in the top here so we can hang it on the wall. It's always good to have a backing board so it doesn't blow out the other side. So all we have left is some final sanding and I'm going to use the random orbit sander to blend in the curve. So let's give this a shot. Now we're just throwing on some mineral oil here. We'll do one quick coat of mineral oil and then one coat of mineral oil plus paraffin wax. So we're gonna wipe off all the excess here and then go cook up a batch of wax. So I just got some paraffin wax here from the grocery store. I'm gonna chip off a little piece and then we will melt that. I wanna keep this on a low temperature so that doesn't catch fire. Almost melted here. So we'll turn that off and then we'll throw in some mineral oil, some food grade mineral oil, about a 50-50 mix. We'll take this down into the shop. While this is still warm, we'll just apply it right on the board. And you'll see as it dries up, it gets a, a waxy film on there and that's what we want. We wanna get that rubbed into the grain. So we will let this sit and dry for a little bit, let the wax cure, and then we'll come back and buff it out. So now we're gonna buff this wax out. Ooh, that feels nice and smooth. I'm loving it. Came out real good. Turn the oven on. A little bit of olive oil on there. Spread that around like a gangster. I don't know what that means. Get some on the crust. Parmesan. Get some of that on the crust. Don't be stingy with it. You gotta spread the sauce all the way to the crustuses. Cause any bite of a pizza without pizza sauce is a bite of disappointment. Some organic mozzarella cheese. Did I wash my hands? Once you get the pizza covered with cheese, take out one last and pound it. Give this a taste here. All right, let's throw this guy in the oven. You're gonna wanna hang out to the end to see how that came out. And while that's in the oven, I'd like to thank my super supporters over on Patreon for being so darn awesome. Patreon supporters get the extended vlog, plus they are eligible for the weekly giveaways. Patreon supporter Fix This Build That asks, if your house was on fire and you could only grab one thing from the shop and one thing from the house, what would they be and why? The thing I would grab from the house is my 1964 Supro Rezo Glass guitar. This was actually owned by Joe Walsh at one time. There's not many around these days because it's kind of cheaply made. They were sold at Montgomery Wards back in the 60s and this is my baby, I love it. I think the one thing I would grab from my shop is my camera because, well, 
that's what I do. All in all, stuff is just stuff and everything is replaceable. Another way you can help me is to share this video on Facebook or Twitter, embed it into your blog, or even fax it to your folks. Sharing helps me tremendously. So share this video if you think I've earned it. If you are not subscribed, please do so because every Thursday we release new project videos. Eric, what are we shooting for next Thursday? Uh, you don't know. I don't know. That's why you have to subscribe because we don't know what we're shooting yet. I have a second YouTube channel and this week's vlog is all about my books. I have woodworking books, design books, art books, creativity books. Check out Make Something Too. This pizza peel and cutting board will be in my upcoming book. If you want to learn more about my book and how you can get involved and get a free copy, check out this week's vlog for more details. All right, I think we better pull out before it's too late. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That is what I'm talking about right there. Woo! Cut this up. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. What do you think? <laughs>